Hi guys, I'm Angel and Heath. Brian. And we're the readers. And we are back for Snack Crate. So, what does our Snack Crate box say today? Bonjour. Bonjour. So. I think it might be the third bonjour we've had. So, it could be possibly the third bonjour that we've had. But that doesn't mean it's from the same place. Okay. Boom. Canada. I think we've had Canada before. Possibly. But uh, this doesn't look familiar. But, this, but so far, what we're seeing does not look familiar. Okay. So, this month, we explore Canada. All right. Some fun facts. Ice hockey, winter, and lacrosse summer are both national sports of Canada. Canada has about 20% of the world's fresh water reserves. Okay. While Canada is known for its picturesque mountains, it is also home to two deserts. Over 10% of the world's forests are located in Canada. Wow. Okay. So, that's pretty interesting. Uh, I did not know that there were two deserts in Canada. I think they're using, I, I would bet that they're using, the definition of a desert doesn't mean that it's arid and probably not necessarily have cactus in it um yeah if it's just a dead plain arid you can be arid and still freezing um snow tundra type thing okay so so with that being said we're getting ready to hop right into our first item and uh are you wanting to scan the qr code to discuss i can do that yeah, we don't get a paper. We don't get the paper. Now, we have gotten a paper recently in a box that we got, but we don't always get the paper because I guess they're trying to... Uh, save the planet. Save the earth. <laughs> so, okay. So, we're going to see what Ryan finds right here. Um, first of all, and then we'll, we're going to get started on... If you get the drink upgrade... The drink for this month would be maple root beer. Yeah. I don't like root beer at all. So, uh, definitely not a maple root beer. Who knows? But, so we're going to look for... Here okay. we go. Okay. All right. We'll just start with this one. And we've had not this particular chip, but we've had ketchup flavored chips from other countries. But not old Dutch ones. You wouldn't think old Dutch would be made in Canada. But hey, whatever. These famous Canadian chips are the perfect mix of savory and salty flavors with a hint of sweetness that makes them irresistible. Um, yeah, and they're gluten-free. So, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. gluten-free. Sure. So, if you're somebody that has gluten allergies, uh, then these are gluten-free. I don't have high hopes. Okay. Ooh, they're like super, super dark in color. Very strong, too. I will say they taste exactly what they're supposed to taste like. I think. Tastes just like ketchup. They do. They're not horrible. Tastes like you've dipped your chip in ketchup. Mm -hmm. They're not the worst ketchup flavored potato chips we've had. No. Mm -mm. Small category. That, um, that, that starts very low. Setting the bar pretty low. I would say possibly the best ketchup flavor chip we've had. That's what you said. Yeah. And I don't know why people want a ketchup flavored chip. I mean, yeah, to me, I mean, I'd rather have, I mean, I get barbecue, you but know see, what I mean? I don't mean? know why you want vinegar. And Some, she likes vinegar ones. Salt and vinegar. No, I don't. Oh. I don't. Um, now, um, I don't like salt and vinegar chips. But, I like salty chips. I just don't like the vinegar. But once again, why put vinegar on a chip? Oh. It's almost like somebody had a sandwich from Subway. And they got like vinegar on their sandwich and it got on their chip. And they're like, oh, let's make a salt, salt and vinegar chip. Okay. Uh, 
Did we get a knife? No. Okay. Hold on real quick. Right. He's going to grab a knife. While he's getting a knife, I'm going to go ahead and show you a picture of what we have. It's called Mr. Big. And that's a pretty good size candy bar. Mr. Big. Mr. Big. Original. It's made by Cadbury. So, um, I would say that's probably going to be pretty good with it being from Cadbury. Okay. We've had Mr. Big before. I think so. In that box of chocolate ones? Yeah. We had a box of chocolate a while back. Mm -hmm. Can you go back and check it out? Yeah. Um, but I don't remember. You ready? And we're ready. Named after being the biggest candy bar sold in uh, Canada, this hefty snack is filled with crunchy peanuts and caramel and coated with delicious milk chocolate. Yeah. Do you like my shirt, brother? Should have worn it last week. Okay, so it... It ended up breaking, but that's what the center looks like. I made the shirt. I didn't sew it. He did not sew the shirt, but he did, however. It was white when I got it. Uh, tie dye it. And he did a really good job tie dyeing. Amen. It is orange and purple, which is cool. The two teams we support. Yep. And that's not Pigeon Forge Tigers. That is the balls. Now. Maybe the wrong color orange, but it's orange. It's yeah. only orange we had. Okay. We're gonna you're, you're gonna end up typing this I'm gonna up. Take this back together while we're wash. Well, at some point, I'm gonna take this back together. Okay, type that together. I'm gonna take this together. Okay, he's gonna type that Think together. I take this together. I'm gonna take this together. Okay, and let me turn this to where you can see. It looks like it did it say it had nugget it or something? About nugget, but it sort of looks it. nuggety. Okay, you ready? Uh huh. Mmm. Mm hmm. I like it. Go. That's very good. It's not real rich, like chocolatey, is yeah. it? Yeah. You could eat the whole bar. Mm hmm. I, I give that a thumbs up. Absolutely. Um, you can eat the whole bar because it's not, like she said, it's not just super, super. Mm hmm. It has lots of flavor. But it's not super sweet. I'm not sure that I could say that it tastes like a candy bar that we have around here, though. It's different. I don't think we have a candy bar that tastes like that. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's really good. All right. What's our next item? Well, do we have this? I mean, there's some that, some, when, you go onto the website, and it, yeah, there's different boxes, and what we have is like, they list the minis. Let's see here. Well, of course, as you know, we used to get a sheet that came with it and with them trying so, to do everything. It lists the mini box, the original, the family, drink red red. So, like, you pull up everything that's in the mini and we'll have all of that. Plus, we'll have stuff that's in the original, but we won't have everything in the original because... They just don't put everything in there. They put yeah. a certain amount of food in there. and So he's he's looking, and as he comes across the items that we see on in the box, he talks about them. Yeah. Okay, so he has found this one, and it says it's a coffee crisp. Coffee crisp. And does it tell who it's made by on there? Nope. Nestle. Nestle! Alternating layers of vanilla wafer and delicious... Coffee flavored the creme wrapped in milk chocolate. Okay, now we're not coffee people, but Ryan has recently not coffee, but he had had like a, fra a caramel frappe or something from yeah, we're on a, a uh, McDonald's. You can you can smell the coffee. Oh, you can smell it. Yeah, it's um, like super strong. Yeah, we're on a trip with our wrestlers, and like twenty of them had went up there and, and got their orders, and in all the hus and bus. Uh, they had fixed an extra macchiato or something. I think it's probably a caramel frappe. So, so it probably tasted more caramel than it did coffee. Yeah, it just had like a coffee okay. flavor to it. Okay, so it this is wrapped in chocolate yes. and it has yeah. like um, like a wafery type thing. Um, and that's, you can see the chocolate, but. Uh, you can definitely smell it. You can definitely smell it. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Not 
terrible. The coffee is you can, there. You can taste the coffee, but it's not like overpowering. I think the smell's stronger than the flavor. That's what I was about to say. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, not bad. Uh, not something I'd buy. Now, that big whatever, what was that one called? The big what? Is it Mr. Big, big? Mr. Big. Mr. Big? I would buy Mr. Big. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that wasn't bad. No. I wouldn't buy it. Like she said. Not bad. But, um, if you're somebody that likes coffee, I mean, I'm sure you really you'd like would. the taste of coffee. That's got the taste of coffee, but once again, it's kind of like the big. Mr. Big, it, it's not overpowering. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and do Ruffles. Ruffles! All dressed up. Ruffles. Ruffles, all dressed chips. The most popular chip in Canada. Ooh. Made with paprika and a secret blend of spices, they're <laughs> sensational. Hmm. I sort of smell I hope so. like a... Uh, like everything? Kind of like a cheddar. They sort of smell like a cheddar and sour cream bag. With spicy? You ready? Okay. Ooh. I usually don't turn chips away. They are strong, though. It looks like onion, tomato. Did you say paprika? Yeah. They're pretty strong. With the sandwich, it would be good. Mm-hmm. We say that a lot. They're still, I could eat them by, like that. They are better than um, the ketchup. Do you like them better than the ketchup? Yeah. <laughs> that's not, that's, that's a low bar. <laughs> um, once you eat one, I bet once you eat it. Once you eat a few of them, I think you would like get used to them and probably like it. I'm going to stick a piece of tape on that. But it's got some weird flavors. Yeah. I don't know that paprika is what I'm taking. Paprika doesn't have really a flavor. A lot of people put paprika on like deviled eggs just for the color, the isn't, decoration. Isn't paprika like ground up tomatoes or something? I don't know. I don't know. What it is. Can't look it up because we're doing two different things already with our phones. So, um. So far, Mr. Big for me is the best. I could eat these. I could. I think I think that's something that once you like that. once you've actually tasted of it, th um, then you're like, because very strong smelling. They're very strong smelling, and like I've I ate that little piece of his and then my chip, and then I'm like, mmm, those are good. Like I could just stick my hand in the bag and just like start eating them. They smell like they're gonna be spicy. Yeah. And they're not. They're not. They're definitely not spicy. They do have a lot of flavor, but they're not spicy. Oh, they have a lot of flavor. Simulated flavor. 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 A-O-U-R. Okay. All right. So, let's see here. What else we got here? We got some maple kisses, which we'll... We'll save that for last. Save those for last. You'd have to wonder what a maple kiss is. But, let's do a bear paw. Okay. Bear Paws, these soft and chewy cookies will offer you second, sorry, will have you second guessing whether or not grandma's banana bread is really as good as you think. I like Brady cookies. Uh. I didn't think I did. I didn't know that I did before, which I guess makes sense. Yeah, we've had this before. Uh, I don't know what it tastes like, but um, like I like Fig Newtons. Now, I like Fig Newtons, but so they give me indigestion. I guess I guess it makes sense that I would like Brady cookies, but... Okay, so this is a bear paw. Bear paw, bear claw, whatever it is. Bear paw. Bear paw. Bear paw. It's banana bread flavored. I wonder why they made banana bread in the flavor of a bear paw. Mm -mm. Do bears eat bananas? I'd say bears will eat whatever they want. I mean, Winnie the Pooh eats honey. 
Do bears eat honey? Okay, Do so. Bears go after honey like Winnie the Pooh does? So this is what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't take it directly, but he like he likes that. Um I like banana bread. He he likes the texture of it. I like the texture, I like banana bread. I like there's nothing about that I don't like. I could buy I would buy them. Mm hmm I would buy them if we were stopped at a gas station. Um driving through Canada, which I don't know that we'll ever do, but Well, yeah, let's try. I'm sure stranger things have happened. True story. Okay. Like here's one. Oh, Henry's on this list, but it's not in our box. Oh, Henry's not in our box. But it might have been somebody else's box. I think they just have a group of things that they do, and they just spread them out through other boxes. What we do have is, we'll save that for last. What? We'll have. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to bump up to the family one. That was on here. Yeah. We're going to do a Kit Kat Chunky. Okay, we're going to do, uh, it's also made by Nestle, obviously, Kit Kat Chunky. What flavor is that one? It just says, just, regular. just a regular Kit Kat Chunky. Because the one on here is, they apparently they have a cookie dough flavor one. Oh, I bet that's good. We didn't get it. We just got the regular flavor. But that's fine. It's okay. Your favorite candy bar just got better. That actually didn't get just better. It's just, I think it's, ooh, that has, show it to them. That has frozen. That's gone through some temperature changes. The chocolate has. Mm hmm And I'm thinking Oops, before. Sorry. I'm thinking it happened. Hit that. <laughs> I'm thinking the temperature changes, fluctuations happened before they got into the box. Could have. Because the Mr. Big didn't look like that. Uh-uh. But hey, it's all good. It'll taste pretty much the same. The texture might be a little different. Uh, the texture is definitely going to be different because it's like flaking and breaking. Texture matters. Yes. But so, let me flip it this way. So you can see like it's super thick the uh, Kit Kat. But if you've never had Ch Ch Kit Kat, it is wafers, um, like sugar wafers, tons of them, looks like about five of them laid on top of each other. Yeah. With uh, cream, that's, chocolate. That, that's what that's looking like. I'm gonna let Ryan have the one that's intact and I'll just eat pieces of this one that's broken. <laughs> yes. No. That has gone through some kind of temperature deal. Because that, that, and I, I think the chocolate tastes roughly the same. I think so. But the texture in two ways. The, it, the chocolate's almost like a powder now. It's not smooth it, or it's anything. It's not. It's not creamy like. A regular. Like if you actually picked that up and held it, sometimes that chocolate would melt on your finger. I don't know if that would because it, the waxy part of the chocolate has came out. It's it's more of a powder, mm -hmm. as, you, as you would be able to see. Her her plate is just. Whenever I cut that up, you can see right here the. Like he's so about. keep your chocolate from melting and forming back. But of course, it could have happened in Tennessee with the weather. We have one day it's cold, one day it's hot. Oh no! And depending on whether it set out. Because this other chocolate, these other right. chocolates, did the Mister Big, the Mister Big was good. It wasn't melty at and all. The coffee crisp was was not. Yeah. It's happened from the way to whoever packs this up for us. Okay. Well, anyways. So, we okay. love Kit Kats. That one was just... Yes. And one and time... the flavor was still the same. And one time, if you uh, haven't seen that video, did we not have a whole box of Kit Kats? It was, I ordered just a whole box it of Kit was, Kats. It was a special, and it was a whole box of Kit Kats, all different flavors. It was good. It was very good. Our kids in, at school enjoyed it. Okay. I'm not just sitting here doing nothing. He's trying to find uh, our next couple of items. Something else that we have. Let's go ahead and do this one. Maple lollipop. This quintessentially 
Canadian treat consists of 100% pure maple syrup. So it's a lollipop made out of maple lollipop, syrup. Lollipop, lollipop, How do you open this thing? I from that corner piece that was your Right on. here? I would assume so. I would assume so. Well, you know what happens when you... Try. Okay, we're going to let him try. We're going to try, 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 try. But you know... Toby's gonna use a knife. Oh, I heard, I heard it puncture. Try not to stab myself or anybody else for that matter. Now he's probably gonna like this. I don't know. I've had bad experience with pure maple. I love maple. Who doesn't love maple syrup? But pure maple, I got pure maple syrup one time and it was bitter. She doesn't hate it. Different. Very good. It's not as sweet as you think it's going to be. If you used to eat maple syrup, it's not that sweet. Yeah. Uh, because maple syrup, like when you get like Aunt Jemima's, which you can't get anymore, but <laughs> Aunt Jemima's, stuff like that, their maple syrup has tons of sugar in it. It's maple flavored syrup. Um, but if you ever had pure maple syrup, it's pretty much what this tastes like. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's not that's bad. what it is. I could, but it does have a, uh, did you smell of it? It's a, it's a little more bitter. Yeah. If you're used to eating like syrupy maple syrup, if that makes any sense. <laughs> syrupy maple syrup. Like American maple syrup, you're gonna think that's bitter, but it's good. I mean, I wouldn't buy one. Um, I mean, if you were, say, you're in Canada and you're like, oh look, they have a maple sucker. Nine times out of ten, you're probably gonna buy one just to try. It. Uh, and then you'll be like, that's not something I would buy all the time. But, but it wasn't bad. If you're just looking for a, a sugar, sugar, I don't know. Not bad. It's, it's good. It's good. Um, okay. So, once again, I'm trying to look for this flake candy bar, which we've had before. We've had flake. It's made by Cadbury. Once again, it came in that Cadbury box. And um, it was really good. Yeah. And the thing about the flake is it's flaky. Um, Makes sense, right? It sort of looks like a log, and uh, let me get it open here. He may be able to find it. It's not on. Okay, he can't find it, so it's okay. But I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what we're talking about here because it's oh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's broken. The process for making Cadbury Flake is a closely guarded secret. No other chocolate manufacturer has ever managed to come close. That's why. No other chocolate bar can rival the crumbly texture of a flake bar. Is it that air pocket thing? No, it... It, it looks like the chocolate's extruded. Extruded? It, remind, it reminds me of just like bark. Yeah, kind of like what happened to this. Yeah. But it's intentional. Yeah. It's just... It, like Ron said, it's like that Kit Kat. It's just like crumbly, like, but it's supposed to be like that. And it's the, the so I'm just going to tell you what's going to happen with this flake bar. This flake bar is going to be crumbled up on some vanilla ice cream for me and possibly him later tonight. 
because our kids have already tried that. <laughs> it's pretty much, I mean, it's just chocolate. It, it, like if you're eating it's almost bar. like if you do like a, like some kind of chocolate and you like shave it. It's almost like shaved chocolate in a way. It's just like. And then kind of let it. Dry form out. back into a. Like dry out and form it back or something. Yeah, it's hard to explain. Mm-hmm. She's right. It looks like tree bark. But uh, just airy. Not bad. Oh, yeah. So we're back to. We got two things left. And so we're going to do the one, and then Ryan's probably going to try this other one because this will stick to my dental work. Humpty Dumpty Ringola. Oh, feel that. That feel, feels heavy. Yeah, it feels heavy. That's weird. Barbecue Humpty Dumpty Ring Ringola. I mean, it doesn't feel like 20 pounds. But they're all the way to the top. Yeah, it's, it's like full. Like right there. That I mean, that's full all the way to there, which is unusual because a lot of times you get... Well, a lot of times, almost always. Now, um, so full she didn't, didn't, can't get a grip on we it. We did a video with something similar to these that we got at Bucky's. Yeah, and I'm not sure if that video is released yet or it'll, not. It'll come out before this. Oh my god! Ringola's barbecue crunchy rings made from corn and infused with savory and smoky barbecue flavor. We've had something like this before. Yeah. Oh, I like corn the chips. I like the crunch. But you know, it's corn chips. But it doesn't feel like tastes like it doesn't have the texture of Cheeto Cheeto Frito Lay corn chips. It has the texture when you buy the generic ones. Yeah. I actually kind of like them. Do you? I do too. They're different. They're spicier than what we normally They eat. are, but I, I like that crunch. It's just got a little, puts a twang, puts a tickle in the back of your mouth. Oh, I like those. Humpty Dumpty. He's right. They kind of taste like when, you, when you're trying to go for like a um, Frito and you get like a knockoff maybe maybe not so knockoff as like a walmart brand like a great value it's more of a um golden flake or something like that and these are made by the old dutch people isn't that who the ketchup old was dutch? made by old dutch yep old dutch people the old dutch <laughs> wonder if they're old dutch people i don't know oh yeah what do they mean by old dutch is that german I don't know. But we've got one item left, and tell them about that. So, we have Toffee Kisses, which, honestly, they're not like Hershey Kisses. They're not in a teardrop. They look like they're packaged more like a, uh, like a Werther's, but they're toffee instead of caramel. And is it chewy or Ooh. is it gum? I'm not a big toffee person. Not super strong. They, uh, not super strong. But it's, it's um, I'm trying to think about what they taste like. Like if you get toffee popcorn, it's not really that flavor. It's not what I thought it would be. I mean, that chocolate off this plate. <laughs> it's almost like a homemade toffee. Like when you go to a candy store and they might have some that they've made in a candy store? Yeah. It doesn't taste... Most, um, like, big company Not like Brock's and stuff like that. ...have taste processed and with preservatives and stuff. I mean, these it's, probably I have I smell it. It smells good. 
They probably have all that, but they don't taste like it. And I didn't show you the picture of it. Who's, who's that say it's made by? Kers? Kers. K-E-R-R-S. K-E-R-R-S. Kers Toffee. So, maple kisses. These are not maple kisses. They say toffee. Sorry. Maple syrup flavored toffee. That's why it tastes so different. Okay, okay. But it, nowhere on here does it say maple. It only says toffee. Okay. Gotcha. It says they are maple flavored toffee that melts in your mouth. That's why it tastes different than regular toffee. Mm-hmm. Because it has a maple flavor. It's really good. Hmm. I could get them. I could eat those. Okay, so out of this box, what was your favorite? My favorite would be these I, two. I knew he was going to pick that one. Tell him what you picked. I'm not going to say no to toffee, but my favorite. If I was going into a, like I said, Excuse popping me. at a gas station, you're like, hey, need a snack from the road, and I saw these, I would, I would grab these. Because they're not overpowering, and they'll, they'll last for a while. Okay, so my my favorites, Mr. Big is number one, and number two would be those potato chips. I love a sweet and then a salty. I grabbed them before she... He grabbed them before it, I even said it. Now, I will say this right here is my third. These, whatever you call them, Ringol, Ringolas. Yes. Those are good. my... Those are those... So, he picked a couple of different things as his favorite, and then, obviously, I had two things. Definitely for my salty, these these are... Those are good. Um, these aren't bad. He would eat those. The all ruffles all dressed. If you get a... I'm not talking to you, lady. Um, if you, She's listening all the time. All the time. Um, try these. Try these all dressed. If you get the opportunity to try them, try them. I think you're going to like them. Even if you don't like the smell, you might like, because I, I don't like the smell of them. But um, they taste pretty good. Yeah. And the Kit Kat was good. The only thing, the chocolate had, you know, done its well, thing. this doesn't and, taste like a Kit Kat. And even, even that one wasn't terrible, was it? This one? Coffee Crisp was fine. The Coffee Crisp was fine. So, uh... So there you have it. That is our snack crate from Canada. Um, and like I said, I think we've done a Canada snack crate before we've received one, but some of these items are items that we haven't tried before. Uh, some, a couple of them we have. Um, There's only like two or three that we've tried before. Yeah. And so. Who hasn't tried a Kit Kat? I will say that there wasn't anything in the box this month that I was just like, ugh. Um, even the ketchup chips for ketchup chips, they were fine. Um, everything else was fine. The best, ketchup. the best ketchup ones we've had. Yeah. I mean, like I said, the bar is pretty low, but <laughs> <laughs> these are, at least these are actually edible. Yeah. Um, okay. And so that leads us to this. If you want to try a snack crate video yourself, a snack crate box or a video, or a video you can make a video too. But if you want to try a snack crate box, Go to snackcrate.com. Um, you can check it out. Like he said, there's three or four options. Mini, original, family, and then you can get the drink upgrade. Oh, which we're not. We've never seen a drink on there. We've tried. Sometimes they've sent us the drinks on things. We get things. special boxes. We get the drink. Ugh, they're not any good. We've tried those. And then and then every, every month when we look, it's like maple flavor root beer. I would try it because I love root beer. And I might like it. But I'm not going to hunt down maple flavor root beer. Like, there's a lot of, actually, there's a lot of regular root beers that I don't like. Yeah. Because it can, it's amazing how root beer can vary. Coca-Cola. If you get a Coke, you know, the difference between Coke and Pepsi and they're all Coke. Coke, Pepsi, and then RC, and then store brand. It's amazing how different oh, that yeah. taste can be. Yeah. Um, that's how root beers are. So, anyways. Yeah. So, and what is our snack crate size that we get? Is it the mini? I don't know. 
He don't know. It's not the mini. It's not the mini. It's the original one. It's the original. So we get the original snack crate and you get... I'm thinking when we started doing ours, there was only one choice. Uh, I think there was. Maybe that one and then the there one There was a the choice drink. and then you could upgrade to the to drink. drink. So um, check it out. Go to snackcrate.com. Sometimes they offer special promotion deals when you sign up. Um, I know previously they had a thing where you could you get, get an extra, extra box. You get an extra Sign snack up for six crate. months, you get one extra crate for free. Yeah. And so, and that comes every month, and then they offer specials as well. So. Or you can just go online and just order one box. Yeah. Um, like, the, 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 there was a Skittles box not long ago. I didn't get it. Um, we but, did get a gummy box, and the kids at school loved oh it. God. I know they would. That's yes. Why I, that's why I got it. And uh, we also did a salty box, which love yeah salty. bought the salty one for her about the gummy one we're not yeah. huge we don't just clamor over gummies uh they're fine uh, yeah but i know she i knew she would eat the whole box of, of salty but we shared it at school with the kids and they loved share. it and uh so you know we we get the snack crate we pretty much taste test it and then the kids enjoy at school getting to um, taste the stuff from different countries and they enjoy that real well. So Just like we do. Yeah, because none of them have food allergies, which is great because we don't have to worry about what's actually in the stuff. And so, and that's something, um, you know, if you're sharing things like that, you might make sure that somebody doesn't have a food allergy. But if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, The Readers, please do so. You can give us a thumbs up. Tell me how you liked our shirt. Do you like my shirt? Uh, yeah, it says uh, T-double-S-double-A. Our boys basketball team made it to the state for tournament. For a boys basketball. They made it That's to, what it says underneath all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, they went to Murfreesboro but, and played, and unfortunately we lost, but, um, you know, they made it. So, that's the main thing. So, good time. if you've not subscribed, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook under The Readers, and uh, go back and watch some of our other videos. We have a new video coming out every Saturday. Uh, the first of the month, um, Saturday, is... Snack crate. Snack crate. So, till next time, guys, be safe, be well. We'll see you guys soon. Merry Bye. Christmas.